The new Revit 2025.3 update has just been released. So let's have a look at the best new features. The first one is that there's a new add-in manager. So if you go to the manage tab, then over here, you will see this little jigsaw icon with the properties, click on it. And this is the add-ins manager. So you can activate if uh, a plugin is loaded or not when you open Revit. So if you have too many tabs, too many plugins, you can use uh, this tool to remove some of them without having to uninstall the plugin. You can just deactivate. Something else that is interesting, you can see the load time. For example, in this case, we can see that PyRivet takes about uh, 10 seconds to load when it's being opened. So this reminded me of an app, a free app called the DRoots App Manager, which includes this cool tool called the Add-in Manager. So in here, you can see the, the list of uh, all plugins currently installed in Revit. You can uh, similarly activate and deactivate them. And you also have access to different profiles. So you can preset what kind of plugins you want loaded for different sessions. The Steroot apps doesn't have the load time, but it does have this profile feature. So if you're still using older versions of Revit, you can still use the Deroots app manager. But if you're using 2025.3, well, then this new add-in manager is pretty good. The second feature is spell check in text editor. So you can see this text over here and you can see there's a spelling mistake. So if I right click on the word, it will suggest me uh, something else. So that's new. The third interesting thing is duplicate layers of compound elements. So let's say you have a wall over here. If I go to edit type and modify the structure, uh, now you can see there's a duplicate tool that didn't used to be there. You can duplicate uh, this gypsum wall board quickly. The fourth tool is recenter room reference lines and room tags. Uh, as you can see in uh, this plan view, all the room names, the room tags, and the reference are all messed up. They're not centered anymore. So something interesting, if you select the room reference, you can now click on recenter reference. It will be a move to the center and you can select the room tag and click here on move to room reference. And something else you can do if you go to the architecture tab, go to room in this drop down menu, you can select recenter reference is going to move the three reference and then you can select all three tags and move to room reference. And that's a quick way to recenter your room tags. The fifth and final feature is PDF status. So in the previous update of Revit, it introduced this ability to export in background, which means that you can keep working on your Revit file even when exporting a large PDF set. So now when you activate this feature and you export, uh, you will first see this uh, dialog that says background export initiating. This uh, little window might stay there for a few seconds. And then when it leaves, you can see at the bottom right, there's this icon. You can click it and you can see currently a PDF file is being exported. Meanwhile, you can keep working on your Revit file. And when it's complete, you will get a pop-up. You can click on view files and see your PDF and open it. And that's it. If you've enjoyed this video, check out the BIMPure membership. It includes multiple courses, downloadable content, live master classes, and mini courses with a wide variety of BIM and AC Tech experts. Learn more at BIMPure.com.